Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are scanning around our main base. In the last episode, we went through the tutorial and I think single mission as well. Yeah, the scavenging site over here. And one of our soldiers is quite wounded, so we're just going to let that soldier heal up a bit. And then we will go check out some of these sites. We're finding a lot. Jesus. That's fantastic. Alright, so our soldier is basically healed. There we go. So let's take a look at this site. Explore. Okay. At the Disciples of a New Haven of Sinahutum. Okay. That's a weird name. Uh, a mutated worm infestation is causing serious problems. The locals have placed their hopes in Taxiok Nagal, the disciples' greatest military hero, but Nagal is said to be fighting a series of pitched battles against the Bandorans and has been unable to help. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression with this faction. Okay? We could do that. You know what? Let's do it. Let's start this mission. Uh, let's just check out the equipment here, so you're fully loaded, but not encumbered, you're fully loaded, you're fully loaded with everything I want you to have anyway, and so are you, so all is good, let's go back and deploy the squad. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do this. If you have left a comment that you would like your name on a soldier, I apologize that it's not there yet, but I am recording a lot back to back. But as soon as I see the comments, I will put your names in for the next episodes. All right. I like the Manticore, it's a cool looking ship. Okay. So to begin with, we have you. Let's actually Something not do you to begin with. But... Hmm. I think we're gonna take it a little bit slow. A little bit carefully. We have an enemy there and an enemy there. Okay. So you can't fire from there, but you can fire from here. Now, we want the, to keep these worms away from us as much as possible. I think we will throw this grenade over here and take out these two. Good, good. Let me have you. You can come up here. I see them. Okay. I might not want you that close to that thing. There are two over here. So if we come over here and throw a grenade, and we get it in here, we can take out those two. And then move as far back as we can. Receiving loud and clear. We have you. Heading out. Would you come up here and get on Overwatch in this direction? You move up here Let's go. and get on Overwatch in this direction. I'll keep my eyes open. All right. And you can move back here. Alright. There's an, a worm there. Took you took one that one out. Nice. Worm there. Here comes this one. Well, another one. There's a lot of worms. 
A lot of worms. Okay. So... You have another grenade. Let's use that and take out these two. They're pretty close. And then you can fire on this one. All right. I'm listening. You can. Move up here, fire on this one, and this, unfortunately. That sucks. What's our plan? You... You're out of action points, but we have you. You're What's our plan? Kinda... Not that useful. much does how much damage does this pistol do 50 damage all right that means if you fire at that with your pistol and hit that is that was a kill And you can overwatch in this direction. You are stuck there. Ready for action. You overwatch in that direction. And you come back here. And the turn. So you missed. Close. You missed. Darn it. Right. I want you to get a kill. Dread Thank you. That's gone. Now there are more somewhere. But I feel like we've taken out a lot. You do not have a grenade in hand. Let's stick a grenade in your hand so that you are ready for action. And then come over here. Can you hit that? No. Uh, let's overwatch. Providing overwatch. You won't be able to see that. But you can overwatch in that direction. Do you have more grenades? Nope. Come up here. And overwatch in this direction. Okay. Missed. You hit! We switch to pistol. Let's we jump do this. up here. Then you should be able to take that out if you could hit it. There One we go. And that was all of them. Nice! No wounds or anything. And everyone leveled up. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Everyone levels up. All right. And we did a mission for the Disciples of Anu. 
So that is awesome as well. Are getting to know people. Normally, when we encounter a potential ally, we first send the Apostle to the Onceborn to check them out. But I'm going to break protocol to say thanks. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. The Exalted is the only one who has any real answers. Tobias West may be clever and Sinedrian may sound great, but only the Exalted is dealing with the world as it actually is. She can lead us out of this mess. Give us lives worth living. Well, we'd like to know more, but I'm not sure that we want to put our faith in their dogma. But we'd like to know more. If you want to work nice with us, 400 food. you'll still have to deal with the hierarchy. Work your way up from the Apostle to the Onceborn, to the Keeper of the Threshold, all the way up to the Synod of Yearning and the Exalted herself. That's hard work. You'll have to earn the knowledge you gain. But trust me, it'll be worth it. And if the Synod gives you trouble, let me know. Okay. So, 400 food and the disciples of a news attitude towards us is a little bit better. Very nice. Let's give replenish all. Okay. So we are manufacturing some Odin grenades. What does that cost? The grenades were actually quite useful. No, it's not too bad. 1 and 12. You can live with that. Alright. Our research is on the Phoenix Archives. There's two hours left of that. And then we'll do recruitment protocols. So... Let's add these to the queue. And I think... I'll do this. Yeah. All right, let's check out our guys, because they all leveled up. Before we start leveling up, let's just make sure that they have everything they need. Ammo-wise and such. Looks like it, but we do need a few more grenades. Okay. So, let's do training. So, Dash is a no-brainer. That is one of the most awesome abilities in the game, I think. So, let's give you Dash. And I think we'll give you Assault Rifle proficiency as well. And then we will give you some speed, because everyone is slow as heck right now. Alright, what do you have? Brawler, bash and melee attacks deal 50% more damage. I don't really think you'll be a melee guy. No? So, I think we'll... Put some in there. We'll actually get you up to 20 speed. Because you are really, really slow. Then we have our sniper. Extreme focus overwatch cost is reduced by one action point. Wrong man. Gain heavy weapons precision to proficiency with plus 30% bonus damage. And minus 10 perception. I don't think I want that right now. What I really want is quick aim. We'll take the overwatch cost. And then we will give you some speed. And... More speed. And then we have you, another dash. Wonderful. And we'll give you speed and some willpower. Very nice. All right, so five hours until the Odin grenade 
well, one of the loading grenades is done, and then another loading grenade. So ten hours. Ten hours. All right. So the stamina is a little bit down, but that's fine, I think. So we have a ton of sites here. So let's just explore them. Research completed. The Phoenix Archives. After recovering the base and then analyzing the data banks that have been left functional, it is clear that Phoenix Point is now the only operating Phoenix base. There may be other bases out there, but we still need to find them and bring them back online. There is no sign of Randolph Symes III, but he has left something potentially useful for us. Cool, new research available. Randolph Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Okay. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Randall Symes III's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family, used as a place of meditation and research. It was... It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. Tight added to G-Escape, the Symes Retreat. Okay. Uh, where is the Symes Retreat? There. I think that's a little bit premature. Neric Delirium Index. Well, we'll add it to the queue. And I really think I want it. Up there. The Neric Delirium Index. We could develop the Neric Delirium Index concept proposed by Randolph Simon the Thirds into a system for tracking the unusual mental phenomena caused by the Pandoran presence. Bonus effects, delirium monitoring system available. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to the geoscape and continue exploring here. The old world, Sipar. In one of the public squares in Sipar, a loud debate between a supporter of Synedrian and a local priestess has drawn a lot of attention. The debate itself is actually friendly, as the two women have known each other for a long time. But there is an unusual intensity in the crowd as arguments fly back and forth. People are deeply invested. Okay. I'm gonna stay out of it, I think. Uh, the Synedrian supporter argues that there is a, a lot that we can learn from the old world that not everything was bad just the way it was organized and that we could build a civilization that had many of the same features but without the systematic flaws the priestess disagrees she thinks she thinks the old world the old world was fundamentally broken and that without a change in human nature we sh would just repeat all the same mistakes again well i guess they both kind of have a point we're going to stay out of it. It's better to let this argument play out on its own. We don't need to impose our opinion on public debates of this kind. Okay. So that was another Disciples of a New Haven. I'm not going to go here just yet. We'll go explore over here. Okay. Scavenging site. Threat level low. Daylight. Eliminate all uh, enemies to claim the resource crates. Let's do it. Uh, equipment. We do have some grenades ready. So 
You already have one. You have two. You have one. I want you to have another one. All right. Let's deploy our squad and get going. The Assault Soldier's dash ability gives an additional move for the cost of willpower instead of action points, and that is so awesome. Dash is extremely useful. We do need to get the willpower up, though, to be able to use it. It costs three willpower points, I think, to dash, as far as I remember. But who knows, it may have changed in the full release here. All right, let's get into this mission. Here we go. We have arrived. We don't see any enemies at the moment. We have up here, that's tech, food, food, materials, materials, materials. There's a crate there. Which would be kind of nice to investigate. Comms online. All right, let's do this. Here we have full cover. Be let's right move up there. Here. And we'll just overwatch, I think, in this direction. We have you. Do we want to split up or do we want to stick together? I, th mm. I think we want to stick together, kind of. Okay. We'll watch in that direction. I got this covered. What's our plan? You could, you could go up top. You know what? Come over here Moving for now, now, and then you'll go up top next time. And you can come up here. Turn. Someone up there destroying some food. There's a guy. I really don't like our food. There's a crate up there as well. So... You'd be able to see that guy, but he is terribly far away. Terribly far away. You could dash. much willpower do you have? Eight. And it costs four to dash. But we could dash twice and maybe take this guy out, but it is dangerous. Let's not do this yet. I want sniper. Come up here. Ooh. We see a thing, a uh, minefragger, we see a Arthron, I guess, yeah, and then we see a couple of tritons that we can't hit, but we can take out, actually, I'd rather 
take out you. Ah, you Can missed. Connect the shot. Crap. Let's go. Overwatch. You. Heading up out. here. And we want to take that thing out if we can hit it. We hit it. It's bleeding, but it still has quite a lot of hit points. Let's move up here. Confirming target. Ah, that's not worth it. Let's just overwatch in that direction. Providing overwatch. And you and bye. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so the Triton there uh, accidentally shot his own guy, which is kind of nice. Right. Enemy down. That thing's dead. That's good. Don't want our people to be. Can you see anyone you can? Targeting. Little bit. We'll take the shot. Okay. And he has the invisibility thing. Dang it. Receiving loud and clear. Can you You know what? Dash up here. And then you can come over here, get into cover, and Oop, this down. Damage this pincer at least. Now you're in a spot of trouble here because actually, what does this guy have? He has a launcher arm. Dang it. I was hoping it didn't know that. Hmm. No matter where he goes, it's dangerous. We have a Triton over here. Just move up here and overwatch in that direction. Covering. You move up here and overwatch in this direction. And then we have you. You can move down here, just to get in a bit of cover, cover from those tritons. And you can't really do anything in the turn. Okay. Wow, that just took that out outright. Stop destroying my stuff! At least it didn't get completely destroyed. 
comes a triton. There's a triton there. All right. Steven, loud and clear. Moving Can now. Up here. Enemy in visual range. Fire. At the torso, I think. Yeah, take out the torso. Right, it's dead. It's dead. You cannot dash. I really want you to shoot that thing. Why can't you see it from there? Let's come up here. Ready to fire. Let's go for the leg. Damn it, he didn't die. That really sucks. You. If you come down here, can you then hit that? We're gonna try. Moving. You're not gonna hit it. We're still gonna try though. Almost. Crap. I have you. You have eight willpower points, so if you dash down here. Zooming in. And fire at this guy. We really want the arm. But we can't get that. We're gonna do the head. Okay, and he's gonna go invisible. All I need is a clear shot. Uh it's there. So if we just shoot at that. See, we just need to fire at that thing. Did we get it? I don't think we got it. You... Well, you're... Hmm. So we're watched in this Got direction. This He's gonna take that out. That's some of our materials, damn it. And then he's gonna grenade our guy. That really sucked. He is taking some damage. Rifle has been destroyed. So what we can do is we can heal up. I just need to catch my breath. And then we can throw our grenade over at this guy. Oh man, you can't throw that far. Oh, there. Good. Then we have you. Actually, yeah, you. Come up here. Targeting. Doesn't really matter where we hit him. Okay. 
And there's you. That's only half cover. That's a big tree for only being half cover. What do you have? Do you have a grenade launcher? You do. So you know what? Move in here. Overwatch. In that direction. Got you covered. You overwatch in that direction too. <laughs> Missed. That's a shame. We just destroy our own thing. Right. Now before receiving loud and clear. Sprinting to position. Let's move over here. And pick up this rifle. So now well, they're both disabled. There's a rifle over there as well that we ideally want. Uh, let's move you in and see if you can get a kill on this guy. Maybe. Good. Cool. And that's the mission. So we didn't get any of the crates, unfortunately, but... So... Jack leveled up. Everyone else is unmodified. But they, everyone got some experience, so that's good. We protected six crates. Alright. Go back to the Geoscape. Okay, a fast way to progress your research is to steal it from other factions with a steel research mission at a haven with a research center. Okay. Scavenging site cleared. All surviving crates have been recovered and resources transferred to our stores. A hundred tech, four hundred materials, and a hundred food. That's pretty good. And we got in Aries, some magazines. All right. Very good. Now, he is basically fine. Let's go explore another site. Research complete. All right, Haven Recruitment Pro Protocols. We have created a set of biometric and site eval tests in order to identify potential recruits. We need to locate Havens with leaders favorable to our cause and barter any resources they want in order to secure our recruitment choices. It will probably be cheaper for and easier for us to get recruits from havens with higher populations. Okay, cool. Recruiting is vital in order to achieve victory. In order to recruit, send your aircraft to a haven with a recruit soldier icon next to it. Uh, then select haven info from the site menu and press the recruitment button on the training zone of the haven. You can only recruit if you have enough resources and the haven leader has a positive attitude to Phoenix Point. Okay. See, there's a dude there. Kristen Nackstall Felix. 25 tech, 301 materials, and 345 food. We can do that. So he, we are going to go recruit this guy after we're done exploring this. Only a model exploration site. Our operatives in the Manticore one have discovered what looks like an abandoned town, but it actually isn't a town at all. The roads are too perfect, the houses too empty. According to the archive, this is a test site for automated vehicles. Search the site. There are some spare parts here that we could use. 160 tech and 80 materials. Nice. All right, let's go recruit this guy. Uh, Haven info, recruit Christian Nachtstahl Felix. Thank you very much. 
Hey, our first new recruit. You have a level up, that's right. And Christian, you are a man. He doesn't have a weapon. What use is he then? And we don't have any. Let's see. What use is this guy without a weapon? Seriously. Well, I guess he's bringing a lot of grenades. That's manufacturers of the grenades. Um, equipment. Can we manufacture a hammer yet? No. You know what? I want a... We don't have shotguns yet. There's no mercy. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Let's do... Morgan hates. What use is a guy without a weapon? Seriously. Right, we have Triton Autopsy, Autopsy, Mindfragger Autopsy, and Haven Trade Protocols. Now, the trade protocols would actually be really nice. Mm. Alright, so we'll do that. Okay, let's go back to personnel because we have a level up for Babe. Turn fire, shoot back at an enemy when it attacks, provided the soldier is using a direct fire projectile weapon with proficiency, and the enemy is within half perception range. Resourceful, plus 25% carry weight and plus 2 strength. That's actually not bad. We'll acquire that. I don't think I'll get return fire. I'll definitely get point in willpower, and then we'll do speed for the rest. Our circuit training proficiency with melee weapons and handguns. All right, so if we, so this only shows what he can use. So if we go to manufacturing and say, please make a cipher. And we'll put the cipher up top. Then at least he'll have a weapon. All right. Can't recruit anything over there. So let's go search this site. Explore. Another a new haven with someone we can recruit. James Agent J. Edwards. So he costs 28, 322, and 345. Let's just take a look at our base. We do not have... We need a food thingy. Food production. We're using 11 of 20 power. Let's build a food production thing. What else can we build? Research lab, satellite uplink, energy generator, living quarters we already have, training facility we would like, access left, store, uh, medical bay, we already have that, 
and food production. All right. So we would actually like to recruit this guy, but we don't have enough materials now. Which kind of sucks. So let's move over here. And let's do the area scan from down here and explore. Research complete. Neric Delirium Index. An Neric Delirium Index algorithm has been developed. This will allow us to keep track of the strength of the unknown mental phenomena caused by the Pandoran presence, which appear to be increasing in severity as they expand their grip on our world. As the ODI increases, more humans will experience nightmares, hallucinations, detachment from reality and eventually brain seizures and death. We have established a tipping point for ODI beyond which the human race cannot be saved. Okay. Delirium monitoring system available. All right. Neric Delirium Index. The ODI meter displays the current intensity of Neric Delirium. At 100%, humanity cannot be saved. Okay, it's at 0% zero, zero now, so that's good. Uh, one of the last things Dr. Random Symes III worked on before leaving Phoenix Point was the Neric Delirium Index, an attempt to quantify the unexplained mental influence of the Pandorans. He feared the frequent reports of strange nightmares and hallucinations might be attributable to something more than psychological trauma, perhaps some form of telepathic attack. Under different circumstances, the idea might have seemed fanciful, but even Phoenix Project operatives, operatives have reported similar phenomena. We should complete his research. Understood. Did we get some new research from that? No. Nope. Alright, let's finish uh, our scan here. Epic Poetry, Nipua. At Nipua, a young poet is making a name for himself. Inspired by the teachings of the Exalted, he has written an epic in verse that is part spiritual vision of the future, part guide, guide to letting go of the old world. Despite the he heavy subject matter, it's easy to read and entertaining, even humorous. Humankind's flaws are explained in ways that get loud laughs from audiences, and there is an overall feeling of hope. Okay. The poet would like to produce a beautiful printed edition of the work as a present for the Exalted, but the Haven leadership is less than enthusiastic, insisting that the only thing really worth reading is the Gospel of the Exalted, so he has turned for us, to us for help. Uh, let's get it printed, minus 10, minus 15 terms, to ask his people for support, condemn this six filth, don't get involved. Uh, let's get it uh, printed. The end product of our, of our efforts may not match the truly great additions of the past, but given pr present circumstances, it's a huge success. The young poet thanks our operatives with tears in his eyes. He never thought he would get to create something so beautiful. The exalted will be pleased. Disciples of Anu plus six. Uh, Haven's leadership minus seven. New Jericho minus three. Okay. Well, that was a shame, but... We can still recruit here, but will he come with a weapon that he can use, is the question. Uh, well, and we can't afford it anyway right now. So, yeah. Well, I think we've done uh, pretty good so far in this episode, and uh, I hope that we will continue to do well in the next one. So that is going to be it for this time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.